Hi, and welcome to the 2021 NASA Human Exploration Rover Challenge Virtual Awards Ceremony. My name is Miranda Fike, and I'm the Activity Lead for Human Exploration Rover Challenge, or HERC. HERC is one of the Artemis Student Challenges, which are, is designed to attract and inspire the next generation of scientists, engineers, and explorers through engagement in the innovative science and engineering critical to NASA's Artemis mission, which has the goal of sending the first woman and next man to walk on the lunar surface, preparing humanity for our next giant leap, Mars. The Office of STEM Engagement and Marshall Space Flight Center and its partners appreciate your tenacity this past year. We'd like to recognize the hard work each team has accomplished in designing and building human-powered rovers to traverse challenging terrain and complete mission tasks along the way. This includes, for you, everything from designing wheels and mission tools to strategic planning and process documentation. We'd also like to take a moment to acknowledge the advisors and mentors that made each team's participation possible. We're grateful for you. And now, a few words from NASA astronaut, Dr. Jessica Watkins. Welcome Human Exploration Rover Challenge participants. I'm Jessica Watkins, NASA astronaut, and I'm so happy to be able to greet you all here today. I'm very impressed by all of your accomplishments the last year, which was full of challenges. But just like the Perseverance Mars Rover team, your hard work paid off and it does not go unnoticed by us here, all of us here at NASA. As a NASA astronaut and a member of the Curiosity Rover team, I know very well how much time and dedication it takes to pursue your passions and follow your dreams. And I believe each of you has what it takes for a successful STEM career. Congratulations to all of you. Reach for the stars. You are the Artemis generation. Hi everyone, welcome. I'm Chris Brown, Deputy Associate Administrator for STEM Engagement here at NASA. It's awesome to be with you all to help you celebrate the great work you've done over the past several months. First of all, let me share a few tidbits about myself in hopes that you will see some connections or hear something that may resonate with you. First of all, I grew up in a teeny rural town in Pennsylvania, and I was the first person in my family to go to college. I started my STEM path early in my childhood when my dad brought home a Lego set when I was six years old and I discovered my passion for building. After that, I had an affinity, of course, for math and science. In my current job, I have the terrific role of leading NASA's efforts and working with students like you. I've spent most of my NASA career in the technical world as an engineer. I worked on projects as an engineer at NASA Goddard Space Flight Center, ranging from designing, building, and testing spacecraft for Earth and space science missions, to leading the development and operations of a mission design center, leading the creation of future engineering design environments and tools, and to running a systems engineering organization. Throughout my career, I dedicated time though to working with students and serving as a mentor. And I developed a passion for engaging and educating students in STEM. So that's led to where I am today. It's really exciting for me to interact with students like you, being able to share experiences and insights from, from my perspective and to help you on your journeys. And I hope sharing some of my thoughts will help you reflect on where you are today and think about your journey ahead. So first, let's pause and reflect a bit. Looking back two years ago, there is probably no way you could have envisioned what this past year would be like. And certainly navigating your studies and conducting the work for Rover Challenge were probably not exactly what you might have imagined. Looking back over this past year now and in the future, I hope you will focus on what you've learned, what you've discovered about yourselves, about life, and perhaps about what's important. Your work is just a part of your life story. And I know for many of us living in a pandemic has profoundly shifted our thinking and our perspectives. Certainly here at NASA, as in all workplaces, we've learned to adapt in ways we may not have envisioned. And that includes re-envisioning and redesigning this program to enable you all to participate safely and to hopefully gain some valuable learning experiences. So next, let's explore a bit about what you've learned. I would like to briefly touch on what I see as five key attributes that might describe some of what you've experienced through your work with us this year. First, perseverance. In STEM as evidenced here in our work at NASA, this is a key ingredient in a successful STEM journey. 
And it's so appropriate that our latest explorer on Mars is named Perseverance. It sums up all the energy, brain power, determination, and dedication it takes to pull off something so challenging. And I think this has been especially evident over the past year working in the environment of a pandemic. Second, excellence. It is so critical for you on your STEM journeys and the foundation of a successful career in STEM to strive for excellence and being competent in what you do. Devote your time now while you're pursuing your studies to learning your craft. You need to develop confidence and learn technical skills in order to be successful. And everything you do builds on that. So take the time to explore and learn technically and commit yourselves to being good at what you do. Third, creativity. We STEM people sometimes get a bad rap. We're not those boring, geeky people sometimes portrayed on TV or by those around us who don't always appreciate what we do. We're creative souls. We're jazzed about what we do. We like to dream, design, build, play, test, and discover. Hold on to those things as you continue on your STEM journeys and look for connections to other aspects of your lives. Fourth, teamwork. Everything we do in STEM and innovation, meeting new challenges, designing something new, bringing ideas into reality inherently involves working as a team. We can't do our work as a solitary endeavor. It's a team sport. I hope you've experienced some key takeaways this past year around the importance of working within a team and being a team player. And finally, inclusion. You cannot do the challenging we work in, in STEM, that we do in STEM in isolation. Every project that I've worked on over the course of my career, especially those that were the most technically challenging, required all of us to dive in and play fully. Everyone on the team brought unique experiences and talents, and whether a member of the team or a leader, it is vital to bring everyone's gifts to the party. So hopefully your efforts on Rover Challenge have provided new insights around five, those five attributes and more. And I hope you'll be able to take these experiences you've gained with you along the next steps of your journeys. The work we do in STEM is not easy. Go it, don't go it alone. Seek out a mentor, reach out for guidance and help when you need it, and reach out to others who may need help. And be mindful of your role as you move forward of, of your role within the community in your communities and what you'd like to contribute. Support your team members and colleagues. It's vital to success, but also central to fulfilling uh, a fulfilling life's journey. So with that, congratulations to all of you for crossing the finish line and kudos on your amazing work and accomplishments this year. All right. So hi, this is a fun, exciting event that I love to be a part of. And I just wanted to say thank you so much to everyone who is tuning in across the country and around the world for this event. You know, I wish we were all there to gather together at the U.S. Space and Rocket Center to present these awards. So a big shout out to the Space and Rocket Center and, and Kimberly Robinson. You know, they have been a great partner in, in helping us uh, do this every year. Um, as Chris said, you know, uh, over a year ago, who would have thought we'd be still doing this, um, you know, virtually. But I'll tell you, you know, there is nothing else like this competition. And, you know, I'm just still proud, not only of America and NASA, but of you um, for being able to adapt to this new way of doing business and your agility. You know, today's uh, virtual award ceremony is its continued proof of our ability to achieve um, through all these challenges that throw us uh, different curves, you know, and that's part of uh, what we find in space exploration. Uh, we always have uh, curves and challenges of, of doing the impossible and making it work. So on behalf of NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center, I congratulate each and every team that participated in this year's event. You know, this is one of my favorite competitions because when I'm there in person, I get to see uh, the thrill of victory, uh, you know, the agony of defeat. I get to see the teams working together, the interaction and the energy is just unreal. And I know that these type of competitions um, hopefully uh, teach everyone uh, that you can be a part of the space program and exploration and that 
you can do it and that everybody has a key role to play in space exploration and science and you can do it no matter as chris said you come from a small town large town um, your background is just having the energy to want to be a part of it and you know i thank all of you for your enthusiasm for this competition and the hard work um, that each of you have represented you're an inspiration to me and to nasa and, and we're watching we need folks like you so NASA is proud to be a part of the Human Exploration Rover Challenge because we want you to be excited about potential careers in science, engineering, technology, and math, the STEM fields. You know, this competition is one of the Artemis student challenges, and they're designed to attract and inspire the next generation of scientists, engineers, and explorers while we're engaging you in innovative science and engineering that's critical to NASA's Artemis program are also giving you a part of you understanding how to work together. So a big shout out to our, our OSIM team that has made this efforts um, to avail ability to do this and to find innovative ways uh, to preserve this competition in the face of these unprecedented conditions. And again, we are so proud to have such an agile and creative group that has prioritized safety and still found ways to maintain the spirit of this event. You know, this competition, is a terrific example of how leaders in government and industry and academia can work together with young people to foster their talents and show how teamwork really leads to great things. You know, this year's competition featured more challenges than ever before, uh, virtually and, and physically against you, but you know, some of the designs, uh, or it was designed to make sure to make you think to make you work as a team, uh, to, to make you see the big picture, understand your role and see how it all comes together. You know, and other challenges were just, you know, out of our control, you know, facing all humanity. Um, you know, what a better way to foster grit and determination, perseverance. Um, and again, is every year you always blow us away. You know, these unique challenges require us to focus on our efforts in a different way. But you have persevered through it all building, you know, and engineering, designing these rovers to meet strict design challenges. And even though we couldn't uh, compete in the grand finale at the Space and Rocket Center this month, the lessons you've learned will be ones that will be in your toolkit that you can take with you no matter where you go. And they're the same things that NASA needs to execute our mission, just like our own Perseverance rover that's currently on Mars. You know, as pioneers of space exploration, NASA also faces these challenges in everything we do on a regular basis. So you're getting it to experience our world. And we choose to find solutions to each and every one of these challenges. And your skills, you know, they go beyond what you've done just in this challenge. You know, they, be gone, they go beyond what you've done this year. You know, you've just distributed and shown us and demonstrated all the attributes we're looking for at NASA your ability to problem solve, you're creating unique solutions, definitely your enthusiasm, and as always, pushing the limits of innovation. You know, all those traits are great foundations for your future in STEM fields, and it's skills that I stress that we need across the agency. You know, for more than 25 years, the NASA Human Exploration Rover Challenge and its sponsors have encouraged students and teams from all across the world to overcome these obstacles and participate. And these awards recognize the hard work that each team has accomplished in designing and building human powered rovers. You know, having designed these rovers to traverse a simulated exoplanetary course and to see and how we conduct our missions along the way, you know, we're definitely intended to simulate some of the skills we're looking for at NASA. And just as NASA missions adapt to meet exploration goals, this competition has drastically over the years brought out those challenges. You know, from the original six teams who raced in 1994 to the 87 teams that started this year's competition, you know, and those teams are from all over the world, Brazil, Bolivia, and if we're in person, y'all could be cheering for each one of them, Colombia, Peru, Mexico, Dominican Republic, and from all the way from Bangladesh and India, you know, and also in the United States, you know, California, Puerto Rico, 
And even here in our own backyard in Alabama from the teams from Alabama A&M University and the University of Alabama in Huntsville. You know, big shout out to every team. You know, the Rover Challenge is no longer just a physical challenge. It's a mental challenge. And when the mission takes all the tasks and elements that we add, you know, we've added even more since 2018. It's transformed the race into a mission where teams have to think strategically about the obstacles and how to take them on. You have to work as a team. You have to be that way. And that's the way we do with our NASA teams. As we face challenges, we go through design reviews, we go through upcoming missions, we go through so much, you know, and we were still faced, we still face these same challenges every day as we're making crucial decisions in building our rovers and going forward in explorations. So the challenge you faced in this competition will go way far. Everything from designing the wheels and the mission tools to executing the mission requirements, like the sample retrievals and in deploying instruments. To all of the students who took part on these tasks and participated in the rover challenge, we seriously, we absolutely salute you and congratulate you on your accomplishments. You have no idea how excited it makes me to see the pride you take in your work. Believe it or not, you are the inspiration for me and others at NASA as we put the first woman and the next man on the surface of the moon. I hope you will take what you learn from this event and use it in whatever the future holds for you, but it is bright. Based on what I've seen from these awards, it will be a bright future. And hopefully we will see you again as engineers and scientists working in the aerospace industry, or maybe even for NASA. So no matter where your future leads you, I encourage each and every one of you to not lose your sense of purpose that led you here today. I hope you stay involved in STEM. After all, you are the scientists, the engineers, the technicians, the explorers who will carry on our mission of exploration in decades to come. In closing, I wanna give a big thanks to the mentors, the faculty advisors, and the teachers who helped each team. Without you, we could not do it. Thank you for your contributions, not only every day and this year, but what you do to make a difference in each person's life. You are definitely a key part of this, and you should be proud of your success this year too. It did not go unnoticed. So now, I'd like to go to the fun part which is it's time for awards. And I have the great opportunity of being the first one to get to present one of the awards. So I'd like to start. So the first award I get to present is the Project Review Award. This year, the Human Exploration Rover Challenge introduced the requirement of technical reports and presentations. The Project Review Award recognized excellency on design, review, and operational readiness, review, and reports. The winning teams addressed various aspects of their entire plan from start to finish to include rover design, construction and testing, technical challenges, and course corrections. They also included budget and schedule management along with team bios and STEM engagement activities. This year's winning teams demonstrated their knowledge of the engineering process and their technical report requirements while communicating in a way that provided insight to how their evolution throughout the year was shaped by the contributions of each member of the team. The winner of this year's Project Review Award in the high school divisions demonstrated that continued hard work and dedication is a top objective in their engineering design, their process through an increase in design justifications, their graphical evidence, and improved technical writing. They also had the greatest overall review score. This year's High School Division Project Review Award winner is Drum row, the Parish Episcopal School Team One from Dallas, Texas. Let's give them all applause. Congratulations. If we were there, hopefully I'd be seeing you jump up and scream. So congratulations. This year's winner 
of the project review board in the college and university division with impressive reporting specifically in the vehicle criteria and task and mission component category is, drum row, the Campbell University from Boozy Creek, North Carolina. Congratulations. Applause for you too. Congratulations on your hard work and thank you so much. Hello, my name is Mark Richards and I'm the acting director of Marshall Space Flight Center's Office of Strategic Analysis and Communications. I'm excited to present this year's Social Media Award. Social media is an excellent platform that provides opportunities for teams to showcase their ongoing projects and team spirit through public engagement. Teams use social media accounts to connect with their communities and to give a glimpse of the fun of HERC. This year's winners literally opened the doors of their labs virtually and invited in their audiences. From design planning to building and testing, we were able to see it all. The winner of the high school division posted their design journey with testing Tuesdays, teacher features, and highlights of current NASA missions and projects. This year's high school social media award winner is Parish Episcopal School Team 2 from Dallas, Texas. Congratulations. This year's college university division winner team to posted at least three times a week to keep the public engaged in various aspects of their rover project, including design iteration, team member spotlights, and connections to STEM related posts. The winner of the college university social media award is Universidad Nacional de Colombia from Bogota, Colombia. Congratulations. Hello, my name is Sean Savetsar, and I'm your spring 2021 HERC intern. I am thrilled to present this year's Science, Technology, Engineering, Mathematics, or STEM Engagement Award. The STEM Engagement Award provides teams with an opportunity to share their passion and knowledge with the goal of motivating others to explore STEM opportunities in the future. Each team is asked to conduct hands-on instructional STEM activities with at least 200 participants through an in-person or online engagement. Teams are judged not only on the number of students they've reached, but also their creativity, activity uniqueness, and ability to demonstrate the impact of each engagement on student learning. This year's winner in the high school division is a community STEM engagement program in and itself, as it is made up of students from various high schools in the area. For their HERC STEM engagement activity, they took the rover to a local planetarium on the day of the Perseverance landing. While there, they did vehicle dynamic demonstrations with over 400 students and parents who came to watch the Mars landing live. This year's high school STEM engagement award winner is Vision Builders Adventures from Charlotte, North Carolina. Congratulations. In the college university division, this year's winner created a space themed virtual STEM education workshop for students in eight different countries. It's storytelling based Mars rescue mission with three different sessions that engage students in technical problem solving, engineering and active listening skills that accumulated and with students designing and building different aspects of a rover to aid in rescue mission. Participating students also designed mission patches. This year's college university division of the STEM engagement award goes to Tecnologico de Monterey from Xochitl Peak, Mexico. Congratulations. Hello, 
I'm Dr. Ruth Jones, the Industrial Safety Branch Chief for Marshall Space Flight Center. I am honored to present the Safety Award on behalf of professionals dedicated to the safety of systems, products, and services. This award recognizes the team in each division that best demonstrated a comprehensive approach to system safety as it relates to their vehicle, personnel, and operations. This year's winning teams demonstrated that safety needed to be incorporated into the rover design rather than added on as an afterthought. They focused on personal hazard analysis and failure modes and effective analysis. With these analyses, they identified and characterized the hazards posed by the system and its operations. This year's winning teams did an, did an entire hazard analysis of not only the area of safety, that could be improved upon the dev, but they delved into the seat and pedal ergonomics to make the most efficient design for their drivers. By defining the challenges and summarizing the risks, the teams work to make significant enhancements to their rover for an overall safe and comfortable experience. The winner of the safety award in the high school division wowed the HERC judges and staff with their safety and mitigations handbook and their extensive safety analysis. The winner for the high school division is Academy of Arts, Career and Technology from Reno, Nevada. Congratulations. This year's safety award winner in the college university division showed the judges they have a clear and strong understanding of failure modes and analysis as well as risk and hazard analysis with their all encompassing chart and checklist. This year's winner for the college and universities university is Amity University from Uttar Pradesh, India. Congratulations. Hello, my name is Katherine Shelton. I am the HERC Activity Coordinator and I am pleased to present the Phoenix Award. As you may know from classical mythology, the Phoenix is reborn by rising from the ashes of its predecessor. This award is given to the teams who raise their scores with the greatest improvement from their design reviews to their operational readiness reviews. These teams implemented feedback provided by NASA's subject matter experts during their design review presentations to take their operational readiness reviews to the next level. They did this by showing a deeper knowledge of the engineering design process through their explanations of design modifications, builds, and rover components, and task tool testing. This year's winning teams demonstrated growth in understanding of mission readiness, performance predictions, project plans, and overall project management. This year's winner of the Phoenix Award in the high school division is Academy of Arts, Careers, and Technology from Reno, Nevada. The winner of the Phoenix Award in the College University Division is KIET Groups of Institutions from Uttar Pradesh, India. Hi, my name is Logan Kennedy and I am the surface lead for the human landing system. I'm honored to present this year's Task Challenge Award, especially because as one of the people planning what we're going to do on the surface of the moon, this type of tool and this type of challenge is right up my alley. The Task Challenge Award is given to the team in each division who best demonstrates a 3D printed tool design for the liquid sample retrieval task. 3D manufacturing creates an inexpensive and efficient way to rapidly manufacture components on site as needed, rather than waiting for them to be shipped as cargo. Testing potential lunar and Martian rover sample retrieval tools on Earth will help improve 3D manufacturing for future Artemis space missions. In the high school division, one team stood out from the rest with their creative and simple modular 3D printed syringe holder design to effectively capture three liquid samples efficiently without risk of cross-contamination. It was equipped with an adjustable length 
and accompanied by a comprehensive task video. This year's task challenge award for the high school division goes to Liceo Scientifico, Dr. Miguel Canella Lazaro from Salcedo in the Dominican Republic. Congratulations. The design of the College University Division winners included measures to ensure user control, cross-contamination mitigation, and 3D printing system compatibility for their liquid sample collection system. We applaud the work of this year's Task Challenge Award winner and the College University Division, Trine University from Angola, Indiana. Hello and good morning, everyone. My name is Greg Clements. I'm the Human Exploration and Operations Mission Directorate Liaison within the Office of the Chief Technologist at NASA Headquarters. As part of OCT's role as being the champions of innovation across NASA, I am honored to present this Ingenuity Award. This is the first year for this award. We're very excited to present this to teams who impressed us with all of their ingenuity. The Human Exploration Rover Challenge requires the ability to approach complex engineering problems in unique and creative ways. Our winning teams presented Herc with innovative ways to design and build a human-powered rover. With the use of non-traditional materials, components, mechanical design systems, Ingenuity was clearly seen by the judges. So for the high school division, we present the Ingenuity Award to a rookie team who impressed the judges with their innovative use of off-the-shelf components, a pinion gear drive system, and an expertly tuned suspension system. The high school winner is Stillwater Area High School from Stillwater, Minnesota. Congratulations. And this year's winner in the College University Division presented us with a unique and innovative frame design using unexpected materials and a modular system to tackle the engineering challenge of a rigid and lightweight chassis system. And another award is being given to Campbell University from Bowie's Creek, North Carolina. Congratulations. Hi, I'm Joe Cooner with NASA's Marshall TV, and I'm happy to present this year's Videography Award, a first ever for Herc. The winners were chosen based on certain criteria, shot selection, camera angles, music choice, and overall editing. They were judged based on how well they engaged the viewer while creating a technically sound and aesthetically pleasing video showcasing all the hard work spent on creating their rover. The High School Division Videography Award winner is Navanmesh Prashar Foundation from Odisha, India. Let's check it out.
congratulations to our college university division winner, Universidad Catalytica Boliviana La Paz from La Paz, Bolivia. Let's take a look. Universidad Católica Boliviana San Pablo, Regional La Paz. Now for our overall winners. These teams were selected for their performance in every aspect of this challenge. They made sure that all challenge requirements and deliverables were met, and they placed among the top teams in every scoring category. To present these awards, we are pleased to introduce two women who play key roles in our ability to offer HERC to you. Dr. Alotta Taylor and Dr. Carrie Olson. Dr. Taylor is the Director of Strategic Integration and Management Division for NASA's Human Exploration and Operations Mission Directorate. Dr. Olson is the Project Manager for NASA's Office of STEM Engagement Next Gen STEM Project. With that, Dr. Olson, I will turn it over to you. Thanks, Catherine. Hello from NASA's Office of STEM Engagement and the Next Gen STEM Project team. I'd like to congratulate all the teams this year for their hard work. Next Gen STEM is proud to help sponsor the high school division of this challenge, and so I am excited to announce the overall winners in the high school division today. I will start with our third place winner. The third place winner is the Navan Mesh Prazar Foundation from Odisha, India. Congratulations. And now over to Dr. Alada Taylor for our college and university division winner. Good morning. I serve as director for strategic integration within the human exploration and operations mission directorate at NASA headquarters where Ms. Kathy Leaders is our leader. On behalf of Ms. Leaders, we'd like to thank all of our NASA colleagues and all of the teams for participating in this outstanding event. Like Artemis, the human exploration rover uh, sends one woman or one female and one male 
on an excursion to discover unknown terrain. So we hope that the females and the males that have participated in this event have been inspired and have had some fun along the way while you learned a lot. We realize that you are our future workforce. And so we want to continue to make that investment in you and hope you will continue to participate as you grow through the years. So it is my honor right now to say congratulations to all and to introduce the uh, third place winner of the college university division. Our winner is the University of Alabama Huntsville Team One from Huntsville, Alabama. Congratulations. And now back to the high school division and the second place winner. The second place winner is the Stillwater Area High School from Stillwater, Minnesota. Congratulations. It is my honor now to introduce the second place winner for the high school di division. Excuse me. I, I'm, excuse me. I am not introducing the high school division. I am introducing the college university division. And that university is Technological de Monterey from Xochitlpec, Mexico. Congratulations. Okay, I'm back to the high school division and the moment we've all been waiting for. The first place high school division winner for the 2021 NASA Human Exploration Rover Challenge is, as Jody would say, drum roll, the Parish Episcopal School Team Number One from Dallas, Texas. Congratulations. We're proud of you. It is my honor now to provide congratulations to our first place college university division winner for the 2021 NASA Human Exploration Rover Challenge. And the winner is, drum roll, Universidad Nacional de Colombia from Bogota, Colombia. Congratulations. Congratulations to all of the teams. I have the distinct honor of sharing one more very special award. This is a surprise. The gentleman who's receiving this award doesn't even know that it's coming. Uh, we have one more uh, award, the NASA Silver Achievement Medal. By the way, NASA medals are a big deal uh, in, the in the NASA workforce. Uh, and this NASA Silver Achievement Medal goes to Dr. Frank Six. Join me in, in congratulating Dr. Six. Uh, Dr. Frank Six, NASA's Office of STEM Engagement's University Affairs Officer in the Southeast Regional STEM Engagement Office located uh, at Marshall Space Flight Center, has been significantly involved with the NASA Great Moon Buggy Race, now the Human Exploration Rover Challenge. Since its inception in 1994, meant to challenge students in the foundations of science, technology, engineering, and math through an exercise in teamwork, Dr. Six has aided this competition's growth from six university teams in 1994 to a registration of, of over 100 high school, college, and university teams representing 27 states, the District of Columbia, Puerto Rico, and 11 countries in 2020, resulting in the impact of thousands of students and mentors. As the competition grew, so did interest from around the globe. In preparation for hosting international participants, Dr. Six helped, Dr. Six helped to organize a cultural sensitivity workshop for staff members and competition volunteers and introduce the role of a citizen diplomat. Dr. Six, Dr. Six also worked to foster equal and equitable access to potential NASA Human Exploration Rover Challenge teams by implementing a Rover Challenge workshop to provide opportunities for educators and students from 
minority schools and institutions and underserved populations. We recognize and applaud Dr. Six's enduring commitment to inclusion throughout the competition's history. Under Dr. Six's influence, what began with a handful of domestic universities has evolved into an exclusive, op an inclusive opportunity for high school, college, and university students from five continents. Please join me in congratulating Dr. Frank Six. As we close out another season of the Human Exploration Rover Challenge, as it comes to a close, I want to express our pride in your achievements during a year full of question marks. You rose to the challenge of competing virtually and exhibited your willingness to adapt to online presentations and reviews. And you demonstrated the ability to show improvement throughout the process. We offered you new challenges and you conceived and constructed new solutions. We asked you to demonstrate your rover using local or homemade obstacles and you revealed creativity in your execution. Quite simply, you showed up and you showed out. Thank you for continuing with us on our human exploration rover challenge journey as we persist in innovating this competition. We are eager to hold an in-person event in 2022 and hope to see your accomplishments face to face. Thank you so much. Congratulations to all teams. And this concludes our program. Thank you for joining us today.